There he is. Or she. I think that's a he, maybe. I'm not sure. I thought the she's are darker colored. Whoops, sorry about that. Let's see if I can get a little closer without getting closer. I can't tell if that's in focus or not. I think as long as I don't touch her head, she won't care. Well, if she attacks, it probably will drop the camera. And she's just stunning. Okay, do something. No? Okay. Goodbye. One has to wonder how this is going to end. Oh uh, yeah, she looks ready. And the wasp is struggling for some reason. Maybe it's just cold out. But it looks like it's stuck there. Oh, I wish we were a little bit closer. She is so close and about to pounce. Oh, here she goes. She's going to take him. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh, she got him. holding it so the stinger is away. Whoop, there, I can give you a better shot. Yeah, bite her head off. That's right, go for the thorax. Remove the legs that are struggling. See how it keeps the stinger away? Yeah, if you're gonna let her go, let me stand away first, okay? Because I don't want to get stung. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, she just dropped a leg. <laughs> Must not like the legs. Well, guten appetit. Thought we'd get a look from the other way. Here she is from behind the screen. Oops, that's, I don't know if that's a good shot or not. I can't tell on this tiny screen. But isn't that amazing? Why am I so morbidly curious about this stupid bee and praying mantis? You can see her chomping on the head. It's been detached and she's holding on to it by almost looks like a thread. Very cool in my opinion. I guess I'm just a morbid guy. Later YouTube.